Okay everybody, welcome, welcome once again. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to install uh, NetBeans IDE on your Ubuntu 19.04 system. So the idea is that the IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and the NetBeans that we're going to install uh, today is for Java. Okay, so you know, you have to have JDK for that if you don't know how to install JDK. We'll put uh, the link to the video in the description or we'll give you a step-by-step -step process to install JDK. It's just a one simple command and your JDK would be installed. All right. So first of all, you have to install that JDK, sys, uh, JDK on your system. And now you can basically go to your favorite browser and in here you can search in the Google for uh, NetBeans Java IDE hit enter and uh, you would get results for your search or you can just search for NetBeans Java as well and it would give you a direct link here it says NetBeans IDE download click on it and then you'll get to a new page something like this so this is basically the download uh, page and from here you need to select the platform right now uh, my platform is basically Linux and it's 64 and after that you have to choose that which Java uh, platform you are going to download so either you are going to download NetBeans for Java SE uh, or you're going to download Java double E uh, or you're going to download the NetBeans for C or C++ HTML and PHP and all okay so you have all the options available so I just want to download it for Java SC but if you want to download it for all of them you can also do that okay so I am right now only interested in Java SC and that is the basic version and in, in this you can basically uh, run uh, all sorts of Java uh, programs okay so now uh, I click on download button and I know the software is like uh, 90 megabytes this IDE of NetBeans the setup so now I would click on it and it would start to download it basically okay so it would automatically start the download and this is the page so I would just save file and I will click OK and then I would basically wait for it to download okay all right so once it is downloaded just go ahead and uh, open the folder where you where you have downloaded it so you can see that I have downloaded it inside the uh, downloads folder so now what I'm gonna do is that uh, this is basically a dot sh file which means that it is a scripting file and in order to install NetBeans we have to run this file uh, as a scripting file and then get the result and then obviously install the NetBeans. So what we would do, we would open up terminal as we always do, press Control Alt T and then I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and obviously the folder is the downloads folder so I'll go directly into it. I would ls here and now you can see that I have this NetBeans uh, and dot sh file but you can see that its color is white it means that it is not executable yet okay so what we have to do is that we have to convert this file into an executable file okay so we need to change permissions and if you do not know about permissions then uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description to the video of file permissions in which I have explained in detail um, the file permission concept okay so right now you're gonna write here sudo chmod and plus x which is for executable and then you're gonna write here netbeans uh, dot sh okay just write netbeans and then just press tab and it would automatically refill so now we would hit enter and now you can see that it says uh, it asks for the password so I'm gonna put in my password and you can see that it has not given us any errors so now if we ls again now you can see that the color of this thing has changed it's now green it means that it is now executable alright so usually uh, that's how we execute any uh, bash script right but since uh, we are going to install NetBeans, so we need to sudo it. All right, so let me just clear it. 
So we'd write here sudo and then we'd write here the NetBeans uh, script file name, okay? And then we would hit enter. And now you can see that basically it has started to configure the installer and it is basically searching for the GVM on system. So now it has basically started to install uh, NetBeans and you can see the installer running uh, on this screen. And now uh, this is the welcome screen. It says welcome to the NetBeans IDE 8.02.2 installer. And now just click on next. Okay. It says installation size is 328. 0.3 megabytes so probably we have to wait uh, for a lot of time so here this is i accept the terms in license agreement so you need to accept them and then you click on next and then it says j unit is a java unit testing framework and then again i have to accept the terms in the license agreement and i have i have to install j unit as well and then this is the path uh, user slash local slash net um, you can change it as well if you want to um, and it has basically automatically detected the path of the jdk that i have in my system okay so i have uh, open jdk 8 installed uh, that is a very old version but at the time of making of this video uh, jdk 12 is available so the commands that I'm going to put in the description are going to be about installing JDK 12. Okay. So now uh, I would hit next. And now you can see that uh, it says, it tells me the installation size. And then I'm going to hit install. And now it would basically uh, start to install it. Okay. And we shall wait. Okay, so now after the setup has completed, now you will see a page something like this, which says finish. So you can also click on it and it would basically finish the setup. All right, so now um, just go here in the show applications and here just search for NetBeans. All right, and here you have the NetBeans. You can also drag it out to create a shortcut as well uh if you want to now if you click on so you can see that netbeans ide 8.0.2 has started so we'll wait until it opens up all right so this is the interface of uh netbeans ide all right so what you can do is that you can if you come here you can see that you can create a new file or you can create a new project. The shortcut is Control Shift N, or you can click on it. You can also go here, click on File, and you can create a new project from here as well, okay? So if you click on New Project, a window like this would open up. It want to ask you that which category of Java you are going to use. So Java FX, Java, Maven, NetBeans modules, or you're gonna use Sample. So I would select Java and the pro uh, then the project it would ask you if it is java application it, if it is java class library it is java project with existing sources or or it is java freeform project so let's say it is java application and then we would hit next okay so now you can see that it says project name java application one okay i would keep it that way the project location is on the home and uh, where we have the netbeans projects folder and if you want to use a dedicated folder for the for storing the libraries you can select this but we don't want to and if you want to create the main class then in that case uh, you can check this but if you want to create the main class yourself then you can uncheck this as well so i will keep it checked because i want the main class to be created automatically and then in the end i would basically finish it and now uh, you'd be able to see that we have created uh, our first java project which is which should open up and now basically inside of that you can code and you can actually uh create or have a real project all right so now here you can see that uh, we have a class which is java application one dot java and 
and we have the main class which was automatically created and in here you can basically write down the code hello world or maybe a couple of for loops while loops and things like that and then you can basically run your program using this button all right you can debug it as so for today that's it i hope you have enjoyed this video you have learned something new if you have any questions ask them in the comments below uh, we try to be as responsive as possible for written articles you can visit our website linuxhin.com and in the end thank you so much for watching